Hello and welcome back to another edition of Bourbon and Bullets. Well, in today's Globe and Mail, if you're not Canadian, that's a national Canadian newspaper. Anyways, in today's Globe and Mail, they dutifully published a piece of propaganda telling us that uh, if we would just accept a police state, we could be safe like they are in Australia. We could have police breaking down our door and tackling us on the street, but hey, at least we'd all be safe. And sure enough, dutiful Canadians all were posting on social media that, yes, bring in more restrictions, lock us up, we'll be safe then, that's the only way to be sure, and if you don't agree with us, then you're just being selfish and killing granny. So this smug bitch, um, you know, I, I, I don't like to be so derogatory in my videos, but I mean, just look at this smug bitch. This is Toronto's uh, health authority. I forget her. Dr. Elite. I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce it. I mean, just look at her. That is just a picture of smugness. And she literally looks down her nose at the little people. She's telling us that we all have to accept much stricter lockdowns. Now, this woman makes over $300,000 a year. If there's a lockdown, she won't lose one penny of that. She, she's never had more authority in her life, never imagined she'd have the, the authority that she has now to basically tell an entire, a major North American city that yes, you have to lock down on my order. I tell the mayor what to do. The duly elected mayor listens to me. That's where we are, these health, these health authority dictatorships. Now, today was also the day of the Million MAGA March in Washington DC for freedom loving th God what's wrong with me today freedom loving Americans got out protesting for what's right because they saw the Democrats steal the election and they want they know that if Biden becomes president it will mean the end of their liberty and freedom because he has made it clear he will put the country into a severe lockdown that's what his experts are telling him, and he doesn't have a mind of his own. Sworn in come January, and we have coronavirus and the flu combining, which many scientists have said is a real possibility. Would you be prepared to shut this country down again? I would be prepared to do whatever it takes to save lives, because we cannot get the country moving until we control the virus. That is the fundamental flaw of this administration's thinking to begin with. In order to keep the country running and moving and the economy growing and people employed, you have to fix the virus. You have to deal with the virus. So if the scientists say, shut it down? I would shut it down. I would listen to the scientists. Listen to the scientists has become the rallying cry for all authoritarians. Oh, we're just, we're just listening to the science. We're just listening to the scientists. And you know what this, the so-called scientists are telling us, you know, Dr. Fauci, that evil little gnome, his recent statement, and I quote, now is time to do what you're told. That's the science at work, ladies and gentlemen. Do what you're told. Don't ask questions. No one's, no one's really getting sick. I mean, I mean, you know, if you're not over 80, no one's getting sick. Um, but, uh, you know, they told us that millions were gonna die and that people were gonna drop dead in the street. No, they're not. It's people over 80, most who have two or three comorbidities, if not all. We don't even know if anyone has actually died from COVID, from the beer bug. Damn it, I gotta watch that. They flagged me for that, from the beer bug. I mean, you know, because they all have two or three comorbidities. So, you know, really, they may just have a weakened immune system and they've succumbed to whatever they're going to succumb to. Um, we don't know. We honestly don't know because everybody that passes from the beer bug is already very, very ill. But nonetheless, they tell us, we have to lock down. We have to, the only way to save the economy is to destroy it. That's literally what they're saying. The economy, they, they really want us to believe the economy can't move forward unless we shut it down and all but destroy it. And then of course, with modern monetary theory, they believe that they can just print their money, print money to infinity and print, print our, inflate our way out of any depression. Now, lately, um, in Canada, you know, our idiot prime minister, he's actually told provinces that, the, you know, he said, do the right thing because there isn't an infinite amount of money. Now, that was a veiled threat. It means, you know, shut your province down, lock it down, enslave your people, or you're not getting any federal funds. Now, it's funny how he, so he does know, he does know, you would think he's too stupid to know that you can't just keep printing money, but he does realize you can't keep printing money. Um, but 
he will. So he's now going to use that as as a as a weapon. He's going to weaponize it. It's like, yeah, we'll, we'll keep printing money for the people that enslave their citizens. But for the rest of you that think that people can be free and we have an open free market society, well, then the uh, fountain is cut off from you. No more, no more money. No more printed worthless dollars because they will very soon be worthless. So it's not going to be much of a threat uh, before long. And so all of these scientists, you know, listening to the science, they they they're so um, ca they so care about science, um, except that they don't they want us to pretend that the country Sweden doesn't exist. Now Sweden, they didn't have a lockdown. They were sensible. They kept everything open. They went with herd immunity. And yes, they they had more deaths than Norway or Denmark or Finland, the countries around them, but they still have far fewer deaths than many other countries, including Canada, without destroying their economy, without destroying civil liberties for the people. But everyone wants you to pretend that Sweden doesn't exist, including the scientists. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this edition of Bourbon and Bullets. Thanks, as always, for watching and listening. Please give me a like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have subscribed, double check, because they are, they are unsubscribing my subscribers. Um, pretty much daily now. Um, so until next time, this has been Bourbon and Bullets.